Shawnee, thanks in part to a win at Kenton, went undefeated in dual match play in the WBL, taking home the regular season title. Last year, however, Bath, after going unbeaten in dual play, finished second in the tournament as Kenton had the low score. Now, Shawnee hoping history won't repeat itself today at the Wapakoneta Country Club. Begin on the seventh hole, a short par four. Beautiful morning, Shawnee's Ian Hastings having a great season for the Indians, needs this for par, and he drains it 85 on the day for Ian. Big gallery on hand for the first group. Bath Spencer Stubbs for birdie. Comes up short, but holes out from there. Finishes with an 80. That's tied for third. Wapakoneta's Nick Brunt makes easy work of this par attempt. 91 for Brunt. Kenton's Britton Hensel rounds out the group. Whipped out on his birdie try. Connects here for par. 80 for Hensel. That's tied for third. St. Mary's Jake Holman chipping on from just off the green. Hits the flag. He would two putt from there for a bogey five, finished with a 91. OG's Eric Paris for birdie. Doesn't miss this one by much. Taps in for par, 88 for Paris. Connor Steichman of Defiance, he's got himself a par. 79, finishes second named WBL Player of the Year. How about Salinas Wesley Rudabish rounding out the group, also knocks it in for par and a 92. Up next is Van Wert's Jared Hernandez. Long par attempt and it falls. 87 for Hernandez on a nice save there. And finally, Elida's Drew Sarno knocks that one home. He finishes with an 83. Adam Vieira is the medalist for the team results. That's Bath Adams Vieira, and he shoots a 77. Bath and Kenton tie. Bath wins on the fifth man score. Shawnee comes in third, so that means Bath, Kenton, and Shawnee all split the overall WBL crown.